भगवान हार्टिली फॉर दिस स्पेशल गिफ्ट ऑफ ग्रेस टू बी एबल टू सिंग टूगेदर हिज पावरफुल नेम इन हिज पावरफुल श्राइन टूडे इज वाइकुंठ द्वादशी ए वेरी स्पेशल auspicious day again where shiva narayana is worshiped with a specific in a specific way today people can eat some people can even fast today It's also Dwadasi fast. Whatever it is, it's all worship of Shiva Narayana. Our Bhagwan has, after he became one with God, he would often say, "There is nobody in this body." there is no individual in this body there is only father the supreme father father who runs the whole cosmos so our bhagwan has given darshan to people as shiva narayan and to some people as lord shiva and to some people as lord muruga some people had seen him as lord ayappa etc etc in truth it is the pure awareness that can take up any form to express a particular aspect of god now we shall see how in a specific incident he revealed himself as shiva narayan in nanganeri there is arvar tirunagar very famous for namarvar <coughs> madura kavi there is a jeer there and his wife shrimati jaya very much devoted to lord vishnu as always the vaishnavas do she kept worshiping lord vishnu 
and one day she had a dream in that dream shrimanarayan appeared before her and said some distance from here there's a place where i have come in the form of a stone image with the name yogi ram sarath kumar this place is called kanimattam you come there and i will give you vishwarupa darshan so the next day when she woke up she could not contain herself she went about asking people where this kanimattam was and finally she found her way to this place even as she was entering the place this akhanda nama was going on because it was a full moon day on the full moon day it has been a practice there to do akhanda nama japa nama japa continuously So when people were going round and round, the deity, none other than our Bhagwan, this lady came crying. She rushed to the Shila Murti of Bhagwan, and there she started to cry. She cried and cried and cried so much. Then the people began to ask. what it was and then she said i see vishwarupa of shri raman narayana and then she started to cry she could not complete the sentence even she was overwhelmed and she was crying 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 but they were all tears of joy the joy of darshan of bhagwan in the form of shri raman narayana and then she revealed to all those people that shiva narayana came in her dream and said specifically that he is now standing in a place nearby by name kanimattam if you come over there i would give you vishwarupa darshan so you see a vishnu bhakti a devotee of lord vishnu gets the vishwarupa darshan of bhagwan in his statue we remember another incident when she permal rajwaiya had visited sanadhi street house because they were all planning to go to tirupati and he came he wanted to take permission from mama so he had come there many many of us know the story already still in fitting with the context i'm giving the details not too many anyway and she permal rajwaiya was seated there in order to ask for permission to go to tirupati it care and love he gave it in the hand of shri perma rajwaiya and said you go to tirupati and ask shri venkata chalapati there who this beggar of tiruvannamalai is of course when shri perma rajwaiya went there as she was nearing the hundi the vessel that would collect the coins and rupee notes from the devotees who visited so when he went there even as he approached this hundi the collection box he began to feel a strange vibration in his body and as he neared more and more the vibration became 
stronger and stronger. And when he was about to throw the ten paise coin into a hundi, suddenly he felt all these vibrations that he felt in and around suddenly arranged themselves in the form of a word. And then he could very clearly hear the Telugu word, Nenuga, 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 Nenuga. Of course, he knew the meaning of the Telugu word, Nenuga, myself. This is what he understood. Immediately he came out and wrote a letter to Bhagwan, posted it. And next time when he went to see Bhagwan, Bhagwan was sitting with a letter in hand. He knew beforehand that Sri Perma Rajaya was coming. And then Bhagwan asked him about his visit to Tirupati and about the question that he asked him to put to Sri Venkatachalapati there. Sri Perma Raju replied, Yes, I got the vibrations, and the vibrations soon arranged themselves into a word. And the word was Nenuda. Permar. What is the meaning of the word Permar? Sri Permar Rajvaya said, Nenuda, Swami. Nenuda means myself. Bhagwan said, this beggar doesn't know Telugu, Permar. But this beggar thinks the meaning of the word is verily myself. See the difference between the two. And then Sri Permar Rajwaya instantly knew that Bhagwan knew. It is verily myself. So Sri Venkatachalapati of Tirupati had assured a devotee of Bhagwan, Sri Perma Rajvaya, that Sri Venkatachalapati is none other than Yogi Ram Sridhar, and Yogi Ram Sridhar is none other than Sri Venkatachalapati himself. I remember one Ram Navmi day. I, in Sudama, every day would be the same, that we hardly knew what it was, what the date was, what the day was. Especially festivals also, we wouldn't know easily. One day, early morning, when Bhagwan was still lying down, it was very early morning, around two o'clock or something, we used to get up there, at 2, 2.30. 2.30 to 2.40, we would get up, everybody. And then I suddenly saw a green, a pale green light around Bhagwan. It was everywhere, all over his body. And suddenly I remembered it was the color of Sri Rama. Then I looked again and again. There was this light coming from Bhagwan, this pale green. And in that light, his very skin seemed green in color. It was the light, the color of the light all over him. And it looked as though the skin of Bhagwan was green. And then I knew, just looking at it closely, it is a tejas, the light. The body was radiant with. Now that light was green in color, it was not his skin. So through the, this color, this pale green color, it looked as if Bhagwan himself had turned green, that his skin was green. We say Lord Krishna was blue in color. Lord Rama was green in color. 
It's not the skin I think they are talking about because I could see very clearly through that green light, his body radiating this green light. It looked as though the very body was in that color. But in truth, it was the tejas, it was the light of his aura all over him. And when I turned to the calendar, I saw it was written Ramanavami. So I had the addition of Rama and Ram Navami day. But for that, there was no way we could know what date, what, because we would get very busy. Bhagwan was very busy himself and he would make us also very busy. So in all these incidents, there are only glimpses, we see Sriman Narayana in Bhagwan, in Yogi Ram Kumar. Yesterday, I was telling in Tamil in the morning, but I left out in the evening in English. Somebody went and asked Swami Shivananda what the difference was between a man and God. Swami Shivananda replied, God gives and forgives, man gets and forgets. What a definition, how true it is. So that Bhagwan, who gives and forgives is here right in front of us. With his hand raised in benediction, who is none other than Sriman Narayana, Sriman Narayana of Vaikuntha. And the Vaikuntha is right inside us. Like I said yesterday, it's not out there in a world apart from this. It is here and now and right inside us. Like I said yesterday, every breath of us is rooted in this space. So let's submit our today's prayers at His holy feet. Bhagwan, we seek your immediate, immediate intervention to arrest the spread of the diseases, to remove the panic from the hearts of people and to enter the vaccine so that it could do its job efficiently, kill the virus instantly. Bhagwan, we beg you again and again to free the entire humanity from the grip, the dreadful grip of this virulent virus and its variant. They say there's another one spreading fast, its variant. Please make it potent so that it could kill the virus instantly. And Bhagwan, all those people who are in the field fighting the disease at the very risk of their life, please give them protection and all-round welfare. And we beg you again for a boost to the falling economy. And as, like every day we pray, we pray once again for your grace to remember you constantly and to go about our life as a fitting instrument in your hands. Jai Yogi Ram Sukhma.